projects and things that you can cut with your cutting machine. Doesn't matter which machine, you can be using a Cricut or a Cameo or a Scan and Cut or a Sizzix, does not matter. You can do all these projects using your cutting machine to make the, the vinyl cuts. Okay, I'm going to start with sticky vinyl. That's the first thing that people mostly start with because it's easy. Okay, let me drop this down. You don't need to see my face, you need to see what's cool and down here. So kind of learning this guy, so hang in there with me. Okay, first thing we're going to do is, I taught this in a class, and this is just a little, um, it's got kind of a lot of shadows. This is just a little container, it's an eyeglass case or sunglass case that holds your power cords and it'll go down in your bag very nicely. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, I just want to show you. This is a compact. If you're smart and you know how to open it, you can get it open. It's just a mirror compact with an initial on it and that's um, one kind of vinyl here and another kind on top that's, that's kind of, it's kind of hard to see kind of layered. There you go. How's that? Okay. Christmas coaster. Sticky vinyl on a Christmas coaster. All real easy. These are jewelry dishes. Sticky vinyl. Real simple. Real simple. But make a nice little gift for someone. Another jewelry dish. This one happens to be glass. Those are plastic. Doesn't matter. Sticky vinyl. Sticky vinyl. It's all awesome. This is a obviously a door hanger for nap time. This one's a little more complicated because you have a lot of placement to do, but it's still easy. It's still sticky, it's still easy. Sticky vinyl is easy, easy, easy. This one is for sewing. I'm going to get it so that there's no glare. Okay. And um, this is what we call subway art. And the, the um, vinyl is put on the inside. So we mirror image to cut it so that we can put the vinyl on the inside and uh, show that. Okay, and this is a project that I did at an event that Missy Billingsley did and um, Dawn Winner from Crystal Eye Candy was there and um, we did this project. It was, it was a cool, very cool project, but this is all sticky vinyl. It's all sticky on there. Okay, next is this project. It's a it's a wall hanging. This is I know it's backwards, but just kind of bear with me. It says friends, and these are little wood discs that are painted, and then the blue and the purple is sticky vinyl put on there. This is a burlap ribbon, a dowel rod painted, hot glue, wire. Simple, simple, simple. This project is either on our website at artisticcutworks.com or will be on our website. So you can probably get this on there very soon. While I'm doing this, I'd like you all to make some comments and put some comments in there on which of these projects you would really like to see me teach and show you how I did it. That would be kind of fun if I did something that you would enjoy rather than something I would enjoy. I can do things all the time. So you get an idea of what sticky vinyl looks like. You cut it and then you do a process called weeding. A lot of you I know know this but it's called weeding and to weed you take out all of this vinyl that was here and just leave your design. Take everything you don't want and leave your design. And these are various things, you can't see that one very well, that um, I have cut for one reason or another for a project. You'll see these on a plate later. Feather. Now when you make a design and and cut it, I made this with the intent of doing it with sticky vinyl. However, you could cut this and mirror image it, you can use that camera, mirror image it and put it on a shirt with heat transfer vinyl. Not sticky vinyl, but heat transfer vinyl. So you could do that. And then we have owls, butterflies, and then, thank you Java and Kona. They're outside just having a ball. I apologize for that but we're not going to let it bother us. Then charger plates. Most of you have probably heard about charger plates, seen charger plates, and thought, wow, how do you do that? Well, here's a charger plate. And again, trying to get it straight, this is sticky vinyl. And um, it's very easy once you know how. Very, very easy once you know how. 
Here's another one that I made for last Christmas. And these designs will all be on our website at artisticcutworks.com. This is a countdown, and this is chalkboard vinyl. It's sticky, but it's chalkboard, so you can write on here with a piece of chalk to count the days down for the kids for Christmas. And then, Happy Easter. I have them for almost every holiday. Almost. And here's the snowflakes are kisses from heaven that I showed you that this from. Here's that. And here it is on a charger plate with the little snowflakes that I showed you. Nice decoration. You can put these on a little uh, picture stand, and that's kind of cool. This one's broken. And Valentine's Day. There you go. And of course, we have to be patriotic. I did this for a, an American Embroidery Conference, which is no longer uh, one year to teach this project. Dawn is ex-military, so we did that for her. And then this one is just my initial and my name with a split alphabet. Very simple. Very simple to do. So that's sticky vinyl. So that you know there's all kinds of different media that you can cut with your cutters. That's sticky vinyl. And it does it any of those designs that I did with sticky vinyl, you can cut out of anything and use them for some different application. Like you could do heat transfer vinyl, you could do paper and use it for scrapbooking, any, any idea that you have. The next thing we're going to do is heat transfer vinyl. Heat transfer vinyl, there are lots of different kinds. There's sparkly, there's matte, there's glossy, there's uh, deco foil, there's... Um, uh, deco metallics, there's deco film that when you put it on, you'll see some on a couple of my t-shirts. It stretches with the shirt and it's really, 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 really soft. So it's really nice stuff. Okay, let's bring this back down. Like that. And this is a can koozie. It comes off. And I just cut a mandala out of a very pretty, um, this is, I believe, the deco metallic. Um, heat transfer and just heat transferred it. Just used my heat press and put it right on there. Really simple. Really, really simple. These also are, um, it's a bottle holder and another koozie. These also are heat transfer. These are glittery. This is glittery heat transfer vinyl. And these blanks, these all came from Susan Mars at All About Blanks, my good friend. Then we have bags, little bags. And this design was done for um, Crystal Eye Candy. She does a, um, a vinyl club every month, and I do a design for her for every month to go to her people. So this is a little bag we did for Valentine's Day. Okay, then we have Spring Has Sprung. I know it's backwards, but you get the idea. Spring Has Sprung. It's not backwards? In here it is. But on what they're saying, oh, it's not. okay, cool. Okay, I'm new at this. I guess it's backwards to me, but to you guys, it's it's good. So, okay, whatever. So um, this was again done for Don's Vinyl Club, and this is uh, a blank from Susan Mars as well. And then you, know, everybody needs a, a really pretty thing to hang. My dogs, you know, if they're not in here with us, they're not happy. So I apologize for that. But this everybody needs a toilet paper holder, you know, for the holidays to hang in your in your bathroom. So that's what this is. Again, a blank from Susan Mars. And let me think, is there anything else for heat transfer? Okay, these are t-shirts. Just did this one with uh, with Dawn. And this is the silver, um, I want to say crystal something. I don't know. I don't know the types of vinyl, but I just think... Oh, it's pretty. I like it. It's lovely. So um, that's the latest t-shirt I did. And this one, of course, I did for me. You all know, if you know me, you know I like wine. And um, this was Larry's idea. This is heat transfer vinyl. It can be washed. Just turn the t-shirt inside out and wash it. I would hang dry it. I don't like to put them in the dryer, but you're welcome to give that a shot if you want. This one was done for a class. Of course, mine said, I save my carbs for wine. It's called Priorities. But this was the one I did in, in class for everybody. And then another design for Dawn's Vinyl Club. 
I'm going quick. I know. Of course, y'all, all y'all you, you that know me know I love my puppies. So this was a design that was requested by my my best buddy Danae, and uh, she requested this. So I made this and made us some shirts for it. So that's heat transfer vinyl. Now, just because they're on heat transfer does not mean that you have to cut them out of heat transfer. You can cut them out of anything you like. That's kind of the cool thing about these cutting machines. You can cut stuff out of anything and use it for anything. Um, okay, the next thing we're going to do is paper, paper cutting. I know that there are a lot of you out there that love to do paper. You are card makers, you're scrapbookers, you like to give gifts, you like to make your own Christmas tags, all that kind of stuff. You can do that with your Cameo, Scan and Cut, Cricut, Sizzix, I think there's a couple others out there. So let's show you some paper products that we've done. Hey Debbie, how you doing girlfriend? Haven't seen you in a long time. This is a um, an international coffee can that I made with the 3D butterflies on it. It's two pieces of paper cut measured and cut, and then the butterflies cut out. You can see that it's 3D. Cute little project to store whatever you want in there. And then some little treat bags for Halloween. This is um looks like a five by two and a half bag, something like that. And the bottom opens up, the zippy is on the bottom, so you can put goodies in there like for your, your kid's class for Halloween or Valentine's Day or something like that. This one is uh, trick or treat, and then a pumpkin. Very easy, and this is, this is paper here, but this on top, the face is vinyl. And this is paper, but this is vinyl. The green and the black, that's all vinyl. And this is all paper, except the purple is ribbon. I made this, this one for a little event that Missy had as well. Okay, I wonder what's in here. Looks like a little package, doesn't it? It's a box. It's a box. Let's take a look. Open it up. Throw it out, and look what we've got. A Hershey bar. A little Hershey bar gift that you could you know, give to someone as a little gift. This is all done on, on the Cameo with proper fold marks, proper scoring, and it all just fits together just so perfectly. Very good. Um, pillow boxes. You may have heard about little pillow boxes. You can put gift cards in them for Christmas. There's a little shadow there today. Um, you can put gifts or gift cards in these little pillow boxes. You can make them any size you like and uh, put different flowers on them. It's all made out of, um, this is probably a fairly heavy cardstock, maybe an 80 pound cardstock for um, these projects. Okay, gift cards. I don't have a lot of gift cards made, but this one was done with um, the Cameo, of course, and all of this writing, this writing here, all of this was done with the Cameo pens, putting a pen in the holder instead of a cutter, and it just writes. Whatever is supposed to cut, it writes. Um, there are a few things you have to do differently in designing for that, but it is pretty cool. Just a little Merry Christmas card. You can make envelopes to match. This was a card I made for, I think it was the AEC. Folks wanted a um, just something simple to cut paper and put paper together. So it's just a little birthday card. You can do all kinds of things with paper. Now we have gift tags. My sand, my uh, snowman gift tag. That was this one's pretty involved, but he's just kind of cool looking. And then all kinds of different. I'm going to move the camera a little bit so that you can see all these. These are all gift tags. I made all of my own gift tags for Christmas this year because it was just cool to do it. <laughs> just cool, and I want to explain something about that one. But here they are, and I'm going to slide these forward, so back, so you can see. <laughs> these are all little gift tags. You can write on the back, and they're 
kind of like 3D. This is kind of weird looking at the camera this way. Okay, these are all, you know, gift cards, gift tags. This is 3D. This one here is 3D. Little ginger guy. Okay. And then these gift tags are really, really, really simple. I just took the shapes and put some text in there. It says to and from. How quick and easy. You can make them any color you want. I was um, on a cruise a year ago with Dawn. We, we taught a cruise. And uh, one of the gals, is they're, they're big football fans. I couldn't tell you what team it was, but they did everything in orange and black. You're all going, oh, that's so-and-so. I don't like football, so um, I don't watch it that closely. But um, she made all of her Christmas tags out of orange and black. It was very, just pretty cool. And these are very simple. This is medium weight cardstock. Okay, last and not least for this, I'm getting used to this. Hey Kelly, good to see you. Um, last and not least for this session, I have glass etching. I really like glass etching. It's very subtle. It's a lovely gift. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's easy. But until you've done it, You'll be like, wow, that, that looks kind of hard, but it really is easy. It really is easy. Let me show you just a couple of things that I've done. A couple of things that I've done. First, this is a, it's kind of hard to see. I wonder if I put my hand in here. If you all can see that better. Maybe not. It's kind of hard to see. There, that helps a little bit. Um, you can see the, the outside border and then the H in the middle. A little bit maybe. Hopefully you can all see that. It's kind of hard to see, I know. And then this is a class that I did. Yeah, that's better. The rose. And you put a little tea light in here and a butterfly. And this basically you use an etching cream. I use Martha Stewart's etching cream. It stays on for 30 minutes and then you take it off and when you pull the vinyl off it's left with this etching. <laughs> really kind of cool. It's one of my favorite things to do now. It's a candy cane. This one's going to be really hard to see, I think. Can't barely see that, but it says goodies on it. And I did this for a class. And then the last one is a mirror, and my plan was for this to put a candle in the center to be a candle holder. And this says live, love, laugh on it. Kind of cool, huh? So that is a little trunk show. Just some things that you can do with your Cameo, Scan and Cut, Sizzix, or Cricut. Now the next thing we're going to do probably is do a a project. We'll get everything ready to go and then I'll show you how to assemble the project. Put some comments in and let me know what you want to learn, what you would like to do, because then that'll, that'll kind of guide me a little bit toward what we should do. The other thing I want to tell you quickly is I'm planning on teaching cutting classes in my studio near the Pensacola area in Florida. So if you have an interest in that, please put some comments in so that I can contact you when we're getting ready to do that. It'll probably only be during the cooler months, from like October until February or March. It gets pretty hot outside. It's hard to keep this big studio really, really cool for some of you. So let me know if you have an interest, and I'll make sure that you all hear about that. Okay, um, today's question is, what kind of cutting machine do you have? Please answer that for me, and again, it'll give me a little guidance toward what we're going to do. Hey, thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got an idea of what you can do with your machines. And again, this is Holly Pike from Artistic Cutworks and Artistic Threadworks. Thanks for joining me.